Yo, two. What's good, man? What's poppin', man? It's your boy Maul, man. You already know. Back with episode two, man. A roll rage with Maul, man. Welcome back, man. I'm about to have these videos going literally Monday through Friday. I missed Monday this week because I started it, uh, unfortunately, on Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, we can make up for that. You know what I'm saying? No problem. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. But for real, man, today's topic, man, I just want to talk about something, man. Uh, the past couple days, the Notre Dame Cathedral had basically caught on fire, man. And that was very unfortunate. A lot of history was lost, and I understand that. Uh, but I just got to say, for real, for real, um, as just being this country, this all also a great country that we are, man, having all this money, uh, we go and rush and help them out. But, you know, we had our own situation going on in Flint, Michigan for years at this point, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I literally, this shit is crazy, bro, every day. Why is this every day, bro? I can never turn right here, bro. This really be blowing me, bro. And I, I should have turned back there, bro. But, man, it's like, why don't we... As a, as a country, bro, literally, why don't we just get together a lot sooner, bro? Why did it take years to get that funding for people that need a, something something as livable as drinking water, bro? You need drinking water, bro. Why are we having those problems in what's considered, you know what I'm saying, a first world country, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is going on with that, bro? You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to say it, the issue, what it really is, bro, but I mean, you can call it spade a spade, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a bit tough, bro. It's a bit tough. It's it's really it's really messed up, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's like I miss my whole mouth. It's like they really don't care about you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You ain't nothing but another statistic. You know, but another number in the system. And that's kind of how America sees you, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you're not putting dollars in their pocket, they ain't really trying to help you out. I just want to say my piece about it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. You know. Getting off work today wasn't that bad as yesterday. I ain't have as many customers uh, cuss me out today, you know. And that's always a good thing because I ain't got time. Bro, I feel you, bro. I should have did the same thing. I went the wrong way. I'm about to hit a U-turn, bro. Because, no, I'm trying to tell you, bro. I'm trying to get out of this traffic, bro. You already know I've been stationed in about two minutes here. Back, about to be going on three. I haven't even moved yet. Probably won't move anytime soon. If I hit this U-turn, it's not enough space. So I'm going to have to do a dag on three-point turn. Oh, you going you gonna to be a real one like that? Be a real nigga. I ain't about to do all that. I'm about to go ahead and go this way. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down here and turn around. Because niggas ain't about to let three niggas back to back go like that. I told you to hurry up, bro, so I can get over, man. You all here bullshit, man. So now you want to drive slow when a real nigga trying to get over. Damn, man. We got to drive a little bit faster every now and then. But yeah, man. Today I'm about to hit the gym today. For real, for real this time. I ain't going to go and be on no BS. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go in there. I'm going to work out hard. I'm doing what I'm supposed to. And I've been gaining some of my weight back, man. You know what I'm saying? And for those of you who don't know, man, that's when you get some motivation on that, too. I lost uh, 50 pounds in three months. You know what I'm saying? It was, a long, well, it was about 60, for real, for real. But it's 50 right now because I gained some of it back. So that was a lot of dedication, motivation, just, just sticking to really a strict diet, bro. You know what I'm saying? When you start implementing some of your old habits back into a that strict diet that you have, of course, of course, some of those problems are going to come back. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, again, man, I'm trying to get as much water in as possible a day, at least a gallon. You know what I'm saying? I haven't really been playing basketball as much as I was. But, you know, um, the little place I go to is shut down right now because students on, like, spring break or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I work at this uh, little boys and girls club, you know, definitely hooping there all the time. That's what I want to do. Kids be like, oh, let's play kickball. You know what I'm saying? Excuse my language. Fuck kickball, nigga. We about to hoop. That's all. That's how I felt all the time, man. Let's just hoop. As long as we can hoop, we're good. But then I realized that it's messed up the people that wanted to play or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And that's just, that's just what it is what it is, man. It is what it is. And, uh... Damn, bro. This lights be long as hell, man. I just want to go home. That's it, bro. That's all I want to do, bro. I'm about to eat my PB&J sandwich. That I didn't eat at lunch. Cause I'm getting hungry again. 
So I don't know if y'all keeping up with basketball, man. But Russell Westbrook is getting his ass busted right now by Damian Lillard. It's crazy. You gonna challenge a basketball player that good and tell him he be a busting his ass? Why he about to bust your ass right now? Well, it's like taking some gasoline in a burning car, and just throwing the whole thing on him, and and thinking it won't explode. It's gonna explode in your face, bro. Dame Dollar said, "I had enough of this, bro. Y'all already got me messed up, bro." Sit here snubbing me all star appearances. Sit here snubbing me, tell me, you know what I'm saying? I'm underrated. Now how, did, how in the world of your career numbers looking at how his career numbers is? Look his career numbers up. For real, for real. I don't want to quote no, no wrong numbers, man. But then nigga, you know, you bought the numbers and stuff. Look his career numbers up, man. That mess is ridiculous, man. You know what I'm saying? He really produced. I really want them to win this series, bro. No offense. Damn, dude. Turn. I really want to win this series, though. For real, for real, man. Being that good, I don't know what. Though. It took six minutes, bro. It took six minutes for me to leave work today. It was eight yesterday. So that means I can't even get on the highway and be mad. Cause I get mad if I even get on the highway. It's, it's just ridiculous, bro. It's really good, bro. Oh my god. I never had PBJ challenge, bro. We gotta understand, bro. I'm weird. I like a little bit more peanut butter than the jelly, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of people like the jelly, but too much jelly make it too sweet. I need all that sweet, bro. But back to my topic, though. This nigga Russell Westbrook really tried Dame Dollar. Now, moving on to the next team in the playoffs. We got KD and the Warriors. You know what I'm saying? It's really, it's really Steph Curry team, though. No shots thrown. But uh, KD got to shoot more. He got to be more aggressive, man. You know what I'm saying? They only lost by four points, and that's because he won't aggress. If KD aggressive, you know what I'm saying? Anybody want to beat that team in the league, man, honestly. Right now, you know what I'm saying, from what I can see. But the Clippers do have a chance if they uh, go home and at least secure one of these games, man, and make it a real hard-fought series. I still got the Warriors winning six, but we'll see, man. Who knows? Who the hell knows? I'm sorry, y'all. I got another PBNJ, too. I can eat. I'm in mean, fat. I was just talking about working out and getting fit. I'm in here eating again. Oh, here we go with this shit. They got that traffic, bro. They got traffic. I want this mat. Look, look at it. I know y'all can see it in the background. All that damn traffic, man. It made no sense. Ooh, that don't get over like that. So, yeah, bro. At this point in time, you got to become a whole savage. Like, this 18 wheeler right here, you know, messed up. You done messed up, bro. That's my spot right there. I need that. I need that. I need all that. Oh, you gonna leave that gap right there, too? I need that, too. You know what I'm saying? Can I get to the fast lane today? No, I don't wanna go to the fast lane yet. I wanna pass this U-Haul first. And them niggas drive slow. It's like a, 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 ga a gas cap on that shit or something, bro. Because you can never pass them. They be driving slower than the mug. And I be tired of that, too. All right, bro. Let me go ahead and back up off me a little bit now, man. For real, for real. I hate when niggas be driving it like, bro, just bumping the bumping track. Why are you driving that fast, bro? If you hit me, bro, this is the only vehicle I have at this moment in time. Work is important, but I'm not about to Uber to work to spend all my money to get to work to not have money to go to work to make money. It don't make sense. It just don't make sense to me, bro. You know what I'm saying? It don't. It absolutely don't. It's ridiculous. It's pretty ridiculous. Oh, uh, and the last thing I want to talk about, man, before I wrap this video up, man, for real, for real, man. I just hope everybody having a beautiful day. Hope you're living your life to the fullest, man, doing everything you want to do. You know what I'm saying? At this point, I'm doing YouTube for me. And if you're fucking with me, man, you want to subscribe, bro, go ahead and subscribe to a real one, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm keeping it all authentic, bro. You know, that's just who I am, bro. Uh, I'm an introvert slash extrovert. Just depend what day, how I'm feeling that day. And today I'm feeling frosty. No Wendy's, though. Ooh. Shout out to the bars. But yeah, man. Without further ado, come out deal with this BS traffic driving pretty smooth. I'm all out.